Girl Guiding has changed my life by giving me opportunities, opportunities to learn new skills, to take action, to make things better around the world, to meet new friends, uh, but mostly to make a contribution to society in a way that I couldn't have otherwise. Girl Guide changed my life because I can be part of a big group, I can share things with a lot of girls. It really formed my social skills, like in a way that you can't learn them at school. It encouraged me to think of obstacles as challenges, to know that I can do anything that I set my mind to. I did never dream I'd better go to the side of the world with guides, but just made so many new friends. Confidence is a big one. It's really exciting to me. It has changed my life totally. It has opened more doors for me and I've gone to places that I'd never imagined to go. I don't know, it kind of shaped the person I am today. Well, Noor, tell me, how do you think guiding has changed your life? Well, I have been in guiding since like 14 years now, and since I was a brownie, which we call Zahra in Arabic, on the personal level, it made me so much more confident and so much more open like and social, and I can be in any place talking to anyone in it will be easy for me. And on the social level? I've done a lot of things that you really want to do to improve your society, whether it's um, uh, on the uh, health level or on the environmental level. My vision for the next century is that more and more girls and young women in more and more parts of the world will have more and better opportunities to be happy, healthy and productive citizens. We are contributing to creating a world where all girls are valued, that they are valuable to their families and to their communities. My vision for girls and young women is that they are empowered to be leaders of change in their communities on whatever it is that are the issues that affect them, that they know that they can do something about it and in fact they take action and they make something happen. Y mientras mantenga esa capacidad de liderar a, a estas mujeres, de estudiar sus necesidades y de mostrarlas al mundo eh, como un único plan, como un único objetivo, el guidismo va a seguir as, allí. There are so many changes that are happening that are having impacts on girls' lives and it really, I think, is different from one part of the world to another. I think the key issue affecting girls and young women today is security. Security on the level of the basic needs to survive. It's security in terms of their having the opportunity to be in charge of their own lives. And it's a personal safety and security issue as well. And all of these things are issues in every corner of the world. We can't necessarily prevent issues or, or circumstances happening to them, but we can give them the skills, the experience and the support to deal with those issues. And I think after the next hundred years, We'll not be talking about 10 million Girl Guides and Girl Scouts. We'll be talking about 150 to 200 million. I've done the math. Happy birthday to Girl Scouts and Girl Guides everywhere. Feliz anos de bandeirantes para todo mundo. Alles Gute zum Geburtstag, allen Papinnen, allen Teilen der Erde. Happy 100 years, Guides and Scouts from around the world. Tillykke med fødsels dagen til alle peace by dig i hele verden. Happy birthday, guys. I love you. Pek bon te tænker du til kommende dag og skout. Kilamu und zu prægel og kille mursidat vi kille la ala. Inshallah mi awiya saide. Happy birthday for all the girl guides around the world and happy centenary. 